Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So yesterday, the 16th, was a busy day for Microsoft where they rolled out a bunch of new builds to the Insider program. And the beta channel was no exception where they've released Windows 11 Insider Preview Build 22635.2771 with the update KB5032283. Now, if you are interested in what Microsoft is working on, and fixing in the beta channel, then here's a couple of new features that are gradually being ro rolled out to the beta channel if you have the get the Windows updates as soon as they are available toggle turned on. Now I must just say at the outset that there is quite a lot going on with um, new features and improvements for Narrator, which as many of you will know is an accessibility feature. And first of all, regarding Narrator, they are introducing previews for natural voices of 10 new locales. So that's 10 new locations. And those 10 new locales are Chinese, Spanish Spain, Spanish Mexico, Japanese, English UK, French, Portuguese, English India, German and Korean. So natural voices previews in Narrator. Now, if we just head over to a screenshot provided, this is an example of when you click on a natural voice for Narrator in settings. As we can see, a preview will then play automatically. And then they're also improving the image consumption experience with Narrator, where there are two major changes Microsoft say that are making available with this latest beta channel build, where they have introduced a new keyboard command for navigating between the images or graphics on a screen or page. So you can use the keys G or Shift and G to navigate forward or backwards between images. And you also get recognition of text in images, including handwriting, which is improved along with improvements to the overall image descriptions. And then um, Narrator in Microsoft Word will now announce the presence of a draft comment, a resolved comment, a bookmark, or the availability of accessibility suggestions when reading text in the document. So as I mentioned, quite a lot going on with changes and improvements to Narrator, which is an accessibility feature. Now, Windows Share has also received three improvements. And the first is, Microsoft says, they have significantly improved nearby share transfer speed. Now, nearby share, um, as many of you will know, is if we head over to our settings and we head over to our system page. And if we scroll down, yeah, we get our nearby sharing. So they've significantly improved nearby share transfer speed for users on the same network. So before these changes, users had to be on the same private network, but now users just have to be on the same network, which could be public or private. And the Windows Share window will now only show apps under Share Using that are tied to the account you are signed into Windows with. And the third change for Windows Share is if you're signed in with a Microsoft Entra ID, your Microsoft Teams work or school contacts will appear in the Windows Share window to quickly share too. Now, talking about nearby sharing, um, there's another change and improvement regarding nearby sharing. If you turn on nearby sharing via quick settings or directly like I'm doing uh, in the settings, uh, if you have Wi-Fi and Bluetooth off, it will turn Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on, so nearby sharing will work as expected. And if you turn um, off Wi-Fi or Bluetooth, it will also turn off nearby sharing. So I think that's quite a nice little handy improvement they've rolled out there for nearby sharing. Just a little bit of, a bit of backwards and forwards when it comes to turning the feature on and off. Now, there are a couple of fixes that have rolled out. And once again, Narrator is front of the queue. So as mentioned, Microsoft really focusing on that accessibility feature with this latest beta channel build. And we get six fixes for Narrator. There's a fix for magnifier, one for settings, and there's just a general fix. And then if we just head back to another screenshot, here we can see that Copilot in Windows, for Copilot in Windows, they are beginning to roll out the ability to use Copilot in Windows with Alt and Tab. So using the Alt and Tab hotkey now displays the thumbnail preview for Copilot in Windows, among the other thumbnail previews of open Windows, which can switch between, you can switch between by pressing tab, as many of you may know. And this is also starting to roll out um, in the release preview channel for the next optional bug fix update rolling out for the stable version. So this is the next little improvement um, for Copilot, um, which is making its way into the beta and also uh, into the stable channel as I posted earlier today. 
And then over and above that, there are some general fixes rolling out for everyone in the beta channel. And then just a last quick mention, there's a snipping tool update to version 11.2310.49.0 um, that improves HDR display support. So screenshots and screen recording on displays with HDR enabled should be able to better display colors, says Microsoft. So that's a snipping tool update. And that's more or less what's new. Uh, in this week's uh, Beta Channel Insider Preview Build with the update KB5032283. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.